I don't want to start this video. So I'm, I'm back from vacation, feeling refreshed, recharged. I was in Star Valley Ranch, Wyoming. Drove through, drove through Utah, got to see the beautiful scenery there in southern Utah. And uh, I went through Provo Canyon, so enjoyed that. And then got into to Jackson, Wyoming, saw the Grand Teton National Park, and made it up to Yellowstone for a day. And then the Grand Canyon on the way back. So lots of miles, saw lots of cool stuff. And I also ended up shooting a lot of video. So the, the reason I shot video was just to shoot home videos with my kids. So it's fun to pretend like we were vloggers and I ended up uploading those on my YouTube channel. Now the reason I did this was mainly to create what I call human assets, which is just capturing my kids and my family members and trying to preserve some of those memories so that we can watch it in the future and future generations can watch that. So I wanna encourage people to, to create human assets, to create video and document their family and friends and loved ones. And so I want to share a little bit about how I did that and how you can do that. I shot a lot of it on my iPhone 7, so you don't need complicated or fancy equipment. I did shoot some of the pictures on my Lumix camera with the Leica lens that I like a lot. It takes good picture, but it does not have an external mic output. So for the video, for good audio, I'm shooting this on a Canon EOS M, which I just got used for 260 bucks. And I have a Rode mic that I plug in there to get the better audio. So it's really easy to shoot and it's really fun. If you want to, you can check out the videos on my personal YouTube page, just the Rila Stana YouTube page. It's just my family videos, so I'll probably be boring to other people to watch but I enjoyed uh, making them. Now, the reason I did this, like I said, was to preserve my, um, those, those memories for myself and the future generations. So, you know, I don't know if any of you have had the experience of having a journal from a family member or a loved one or something like that that you treasure as a way to, to get to know these family members. You know, one of uh, something I've been inspired by some of my ancestors, Richard Henry Dana Jr., two years before the mass. So a really cool book, but for the film version, I have to rely on the 1946 movie. So how much cooler would it have been if we had the video journal? Now today we have that technology. You know, everyone has a phone in their pocket that shoots HD. It's really easy to create these videos, so I want to encourage you to do it. Now, there's also, let's see, oh, so, so my YouTube, I want to talk a little bit about YouTube. I made my videos public, so you guys can go check them out. But if you want to preserve them, uh, if you want to post memories but keep it private, YouTube allows for that as well. You can choose who can watch the videos. And also something I'm really passionate about is modern laws and modern estate planning allows for planning of your digital assets. So I have a trust created that will transfer everything I put on my YouTube page, including the private videos, to my children if something were to happen to me. So, so that's a topic. I don't want to spend the time talking about that today. Um, we're going to be hosting, you, you can talk to your lawyer about that. If your lawyer doesn't know about it, we're going to be hosting a CLE event on this. So we just confirmed the, the location. We're going to do it at North & Co. Thanks, Brian North and Stephanie and team for letting us use your spot there. They have a beautiful office, beautiful central location. So Brian was kind enough to let us use it on the one condition he wants to attend. We're going to have a speaker there. Uh, uh, Brad Randall just confirmed. He's going to be speaking about cryptocurrency and some of the issues there. And I'll be talking about the digital asset planning and how you can um, how you can transfer your assets and share some information in your email. So if you want information about that, lawyers, check out our Mott Legal page, either our Instagram, Facebook, or our website, MottLegal.com. You can shoot us an email there and just put CLE. We'll let you know when we finalize the date. We're looking at October for that, so some, sometime in October. Um, so be on the lookout for that. 
and what I want to do today, the other, the other uh, point or other thing I want to talk about today, I want to just share some cool things that have been happening. And I want to start shooting more videos like this where I share some of the things that I'm doing as an attorney. I want to create the space for other attorneys and other business professionals to be able to, to ask questions and hopefully get value from some of the experiences and some of the things that I'm doing. I'm sure you guys are all doing the, the same things and can relate. So some of the stuff I want to share this week, some of the cool things that have happened in the last couple of days. Now, one of my favorite things about what I do is I get to meet cool people that do all different types of things, and I get to learn from them. So I want to share some of the standout things that I've been doing this week. Um, let's see. So I wrote a list of some of the highlights I wanted to share. Uh, I met a cool graduate of the Air Force Academy. Uh, this uh, young man just graduated and he's going to be going to flight school so that's pretty cool i know it's a pretty tough thing to do to make it into the flight training so he, he was definitely a sharp kid so that was it was cool to meet him and also i helped someone with a pet trust we're designing a trust to help a client they're making a large gift to a pet so we're designing a trust where there's going to be a caregiver for their pets a separate trustee that will manage the money so that will ensure that the money gets used for their, their pets and that their pets have the best care. So that, that's pretty exciting. Then also there's some contingency cases I'm working on. That's where I represent beneficiaries of a trust or an estate. And there's someone that, um, that maybe did something they weren't in, that they weren't supposed to do. So I share in the win if I help recover for the client. So. I like taking on those kind of cases. It's it's fun to step in and be able to help people. We also have a few litigation cases going on where we represent other beneficiaries. Uh, have cases going on in Arizona, California, and also have a case where we're co-counsel in Florida. So it's cool that that stretches across the, the country. Uh, one of the coolest things though happened today. A couple I met met a really cool. They're a couple from Brazil and um, I'm helping them design a dynasty trust that's going to protect their daughter and make sure that all the wealth they've accumulated will be protected. And um, at the end of the meeting, he's, he said how he, he came to this country with only $300 and he's been able to you know, create a life for himself. He's able to work hard, save a lot of money, buy a, buy a house, and uh, put some money in the bank so he's able to retire. So he said, you know, life's been good, like Joe Walsh, you know what I mean? And I, I thought that was really funny. I was like, yeah, I, I know the song, I know Joe Walsh. And uh, we had a good conversation about music, and he even shared, he told me that Tool's releasing a new album. You'd think I would have learned about this from someone else, but that's what I love about my job. I, I learn all sorts of cool things from the clients and people I meet. And yeah, life's been good. I'll end on that note today. Thanks.